We begin with a small company convinced it has a thriving future in the auto industry, despite the current downturn. Here's Red Sharon. Time is ticking. Inside a sealed manufacturing floor, technicians compile the zero emission 100% recyclable batteries. They can't make them fast enough. The place is humming 24-7, finalizing new designs, testing power systems, putting them in cars that used to have gasoline engines. This is Electrovia, a Canadian company most Canadians have never heard of. But they will if Gitanjali Dasgupta has her way as the director of electric vehicles and promotion and marketing and media relations. She admits she's swamped, but it's a good swamp. This is it. I mean, the next sort of one year will make or break the industry. And you're seeing uh, an accelerated transition that has never really happened before. The transition is away from gasoline and diesel powered vehicles toward electric. Electrovia isn't interested in building the vehicles themselves, just their energy systems. As Thomas Edison, who got involved in electric cars at the turn of the last century, put it, it's all about the battery. I think most of my peers want to drive electric cars. At 26, Raj Dasgupta, who has his PhD from MIT and Cambridge, says Edison had it right. This is an Electrovia battery pack, and uh, this pack you see here has about the same amount of energy as a uh, Toyota Prius has in their hybrid. Really? And that's, that's light. Yeah, it's uh, because Electrovia, we have uh, probably the highest energy density in the world for lithium ion batteries, so we can put more energy in a smaller space and less weight. Electrovia holds over 100 patents, including their lithium-ion super polymer batteries, which are manufactured right here in Mississauga. It has built battery systems for solar vehicles, even for astronaut spacesuits at NASA. But it also knows the real big opportunity will be vehicles. There's lots of empty space. Lots of empty space. This is the Maya 300, made in China. The gasoline power system has been removed and replaced with theirs. I think we need to take it for a ride. You know, you almost need it to generate some noise to let people know it's coming. If I put my foot down, this thing would hop. It will. This is a prototype, but they are about to launch the real thing with another company this September in Norway. Made in partnership with the Indian automotive giant Tata, the car, called the Indica EV, will be capable of reaching speeds of 100 kilometers an hour and can run as much as 250 kilometers before recharging. They will first be available in Norway, but all of Europe is next. What it looks like is a, a, a good standard family car, though. Britain has already announced an investment of 100 million pounds to develop an even larger electric vehicle system than they have now. It sees a future for its automotive industry building electric cars. Electrovia wants part of that action. It's quietly working right now with companies like Perlator, but also talking with the manufacturers of almost every other class of vehicle, including conversations with the traditional industry. Your grandchildren is going to say, what, my grandparents are so stupid. All they did was burn that hydrocarbon to extract its calorific value. Couldn't they do something better with that material? Desgupta says large new sources of hydrocarbons, oil, haven't been discovered in 40 years. Instead of burning it at a rate of 85 million barrels a day, we should be using it to make recyclable materials like plastics. You're destroying it. I mean, you're burning the stuff, it's gone. So I think that tipping point is coming and now you need a little extra cost of gasoline and the whole thing will go over. And if you are wondering about the Das Gupta connection, yes, the chairman has his son and his daughter working with him, but this is not a family company, far from it. The people working here, almost a hundred of them, are drawn from around the world, attracted to the technology. It's incredible. It's a real honor, to be honest. We've got a great team. Um, there's some great minds around here and collectively, hopefully, you know, inching the industry forward. 
guess we should have checked to make sure this thing was charged up. Yeah, I didn't check. Brother Raj has to get back to the plant. He flies to Norway tonight. More work on the September launch of their first commercial electric vehicle. I mean, that could be, that could be seconds. Back inside, the meetings carry on into the night. And they keep on making the batteries they hope will be a big part of our future. Red Sharon, CBC News, Mississauga.